Saws and CPS Energy about to resume cutting off water and power if you're behind on your bills. Both utilities stopped those disconnections for non-payment back in March of 2020 because of the pandemic. But CPS Energy will start shutting off some residential customers' power beginning tomorrow. And Saws will begin water disconnections on October 19th. Garrett Berger tells us how they're handling that and how you can avoid it. Does that worry you? Uh, could be for some, it was the pandemic that put them behind. I was working at a nursing home. Um, I lost my job. I just recently got back to work. Have high bills. Others, bills just simply higher than they could pay. A month, it's like, like 460, something like that on average. Whatever the cause, more than 76,000 CPS Energy and 65,000 SAWS accounts are far enough behind to be eligible for disconnection. Though many of those SAWS customers are already on a payment plan. The vast majority of both are residential customers. But not everyone's getting shut off right away. CPS Energy says it's focusing first on customers who are way overdue and aren't on any kind of payment program or assistance. So instead of almost 72,000 residential customers starting tomorrow, it's looking instead at about 7,000. We are talking about customers that have not made no payments in the last year, and we have called them and they have not returned any phone calls to us. And SAWS has automatically entered qualifying residential customers into a payment plan, which includes partially forgiving the debt in return for good payments. About three quarters of its overdue residential customers are in a payment arrangement now, and final notices have just begun going out to the others. Well, hopefully, as they get these final notices, they're going to contact us, and we'll have very few that we'll actually have to go and turn off. Both utilities say getting and staying on a payment plan will protect you from disconnection, but it's not always so simple. One CPS customer told us that's still too much on top of her normal bill. You wouldn't get behind if you could make the bill, you know. She says CPS Energy gave her info on places that might be able to help her and an extension for what that's worth. It's a conversation I'm going to have to have again. 